Good morning. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> welcome back. Uh, we've been away for a while. We've had a little bit of a break. Uh, we haven't really done very much uh, since our last video when we went to Shell Island with Sean from Project Camper. Uh, we've done the odd little job on the van. Uh, spent some time with just Archie, spent some time with just my mom, uh, and just work, all that sort of stuff. So it's now 1st of November today, and uh, it's about half eight in the morning, and we've got some work to do on our electrical system. So you've seen in previous videos, my electrical system. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what we're going to be doing today. <clears throat> Before I flip the camera around, I would just like to say a big thank you to uh, 12 Volt Planet for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of 12 Volt Planet, um, then I'll leave all the links in the description, all that sort of stuff uh, down below on the video. Uh, but 12 Volt Planet, they are an immense encyclopedic uh, catalog of equipment for marine and vans. Uh, for 12 volt and 230, uh, 240 volt um, equipment. <clears throat> their knowledge is second to none. You can, they're the type of people you can ring up and ask them advice and all that sort of stuff. But their, their attention to detail in everything that they do from whether it's the knowledge that they know, that the website and all that sort of stuff and all the blogs and information they put out um, is second to none. So a big thank you to 12 Volt Planet for sponsoring today's video. Um, and some future videos as well. So I'm going to flip the camera around now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So my old electrical system had a 3000 watt energy inverter, which is has been fine, it's okay. Um, I've got my Fogstar lithium down here, my bus bars, my free MPPTs. I'm just going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. I've got three IP22s, each charging at 30 amps. <coughs> so when I'm on an electric hookup, I can charge at 90 amps. Uh, it's been great, no issues. Sometimes it, I just question things. So I'm gonna be getting rid of the free IP22s, getting rid of the inverter, and swapping to a Victron MultiPlus inverter charger. So I've gone for the MultiPlus 2000, uh, which gives me an 80 amp charge rate on electric hookup. So that's going in the van. But I'm also gonna be putting in these consumer units um, with an RCD. So again, big thanks to 12 Volt Planet for sponsoring today's video. And obviously putting this on a controller as well, but this will all work in conjunction with um, my Victron Servo, which is in there as well. I am gonna have to do a lot of jigging around in order to get the MultiPlus in there and figure out where I'm gonna put uh, the Orions and the battery maintainer down there, the, the Sterling battery maintainer, which trickle charges my vehicle battery. Uh, and I might have to take out one of these Lynx distributors because one of them is uh, occupying three of these. So I'd take three of them away. I could get rid of one of them. So I'm thinking of getting rid of one of them, putting the RCD down there off the electric hookup. So when that's connected to the external hookup point, that's protected that into the inverter, which goes down there. And then somehow in here, get the two excesses fitted somehow. We'll figure that out eventually. Uh, but for now, what I've got to do is literally disconnect everything, take everything out, take all the batteries out, take the free IP22s out, take the covers out, strip out the inverter and so on and so on. It's going to be a long day. Wish me luck. But hopefully by making these changes to uh, the current van, uh, we'll just make everything a little bit better, safer, uh, and being able to communicate more uh, as well. At a future date, in another video later on, we may be swapping the batteries out uh, for a different battery, but all that will come in good time. So we'll see, see how we go. Let's get on with it, I'm waffling crap. See you later. So you have to work by torch light at the moment so i've taken out the three batteries i've taken out the three ip22s uh and now i've got to just dismantle all that strip out all the cabling so the uh inverter is out just thought i'd enjoy a, 
a little bit of a coffee break courtesy of 12 volt planet a little flat white from the uh, coffee machine at work so i'm obviously at work at mule vans in the unit saturday and trying to get this done so uh, the two excesses are out oh, i'll flip the camera around to show you so the two excesses are out loads of cable is out uh, just two links distributors now and then the uh, rcd can go in that corner there just got to finish taking all this out uh, move a few things and then stop measuring up for the uh inverter charger boom so this is where i'm at now uh, everything's gone from that board there uh, so the first, let's get in there, so you can have a proper look. Uh, the first RCD that will come off my uh, electric hookup point. So I'll move the servo to there as well. Uh, down there is my battery maintainer, which comes off my leisure system to my vehicle battery. And then down here hidden is the control switch. Uh, because I've run my aux beam off my leisure system, not the vehicle battery. So that's the on off switch uh, down there for that. And then below that is the input for the Victron XS's, like the bus bar. You can just probably see that there. That's where the uh, 50 mil cable comes in. And then off that, I go to two switches, 50 mil, and then down to 16 mil into the XS's. And I'm going to put the XS's down here where I'm shining the light to them hopefully so now i've got enough room to mount a inverter charger in there so so little update <coughs> the uh multiplus is in uh the two vitron excesses my uh, dc to dc battery chargers are in with the switches that allows me to go from 50 mil to 20 uh, 16 mil um the rcd's in everything else is pretty much in all i've got to do now is pretty much cable management so i've got to run some new cables 16 mil off the uh, orions to the distributors get everything cable tidied up and then go from there basically so we should be cooking on gas by tonight uh the electrics is a absolute mess still however uh, the inverter is in, it's ignored the loose cables. I've still got to tidy everything up, but the inverter is in, the inverter is working and all that sort of stuff. I still need to do the uh, RCD uh, off the electric hookup into the inverter, and then um, I'll be all good from there. The excesses are in, they're working. The servo is in, it's working. Everything else is in, it's working. Uh, that is cool. So everything's in and it's back and it's working, which is great. So I'm really happy. Um, yeah, that is about it. I still got more work to do tomorrow. So I've still got to try and tidy up all these cables a bit more, especially the uh, upper cables and all that sort of stuff. Um, and finish off the uh, RCD and the electric hookup. But at the moment, uh, I've got power, I've got lighting, I've got heating, I've got fresh water and I can make a brew and all that sort of stuff. And when I drive, I can charge at the same time. So I'm pretty happy. So electrics are all back on. Uh, it's the next morning. Uh, the control panel's in. That's all working. So now that's flashing us on. Invert. And we've got a load. But I'm going to have to change the wires, the RJ4, whatever they are, wires, because I think I've put them in the wrong place. But it's working anyway. So I've got solar panel that's working, that's coming in. My Orion's, once the inverter goes off, they come back on. so I can see how much power I'm getting in off my B2Bs once I'm driving and all that sort of stuff 
Uh, I've got 600 grams of lithium. So my power is doing all right. Everything's working again. All good. Lights are all working. Everything's working. All good. All good. So that wraps up day one. We've been going at half eight uh, this morning. So half eight, half nine, half 10, half 11, half 12, half one, half two, half three. So we've been going for seven hours uh, to strip out basically all my electrics and rewire it all back in to where it's working. Uh, which is what I wanted for day one, basically, which means tomorrow I can come back in here and do some tidying up at a leisurely pace. And then uh, the following week, um, I've got my, where is it? I've got my Arctic Blue cable. So I'm gonna have to uh, take off the electric hookup point, wire this in pass the cable through into the RCD and then into the inverter. So that's a job for next week, because uh, I'm not going to be doing it today. So the main thing is it's in, it's ready. Uh, I've got a few items to sell. Um, if anybody is interested, and I'll just quickly uh, show you these uh, before we finish day one as such. So if anybody's interested, leave me a link, uh, leave me a message. Uh, so there's the three IP22s. Uh, I don't need these anymore. Um, so these are for sale. Uh, they're all pretty much been in for about 10 months. Uh, all in perfect working condition, no issues whatsoever. So if anybody's interested in buying them, uh, let me know. They'll be going cheap, 100 quid each, say. So if anybody is after, a 3000 watt uh, Renergy inverter with a controller, uh, give me a shout. That's for sale as well. 100 quid if anybody wants it. I think they're about 350 quid. No issues with it. Uh, so, yeah, if anybody wants that, just let me know. Also, the Fogstar 300 amp lithium battery, uh, it's got about 30 cycles on it. So that's ready for sale as well. So if you're interested in the free IP22s, the Renergy inverter or the Fogstar 300 amp lithium battery, then please give me a message. Uh, they are available to collect from Barnsley. Uh, I will have at some stage in the new year, another free 300 amp uh, Renner Fogstar lithium batteries uh, to sell. Uh, but at the moment I've only got the one. I need the other two because I'll be swapping my batteries out for something different in the new year. Uh, but that's it for today, day one. Let's pick this back up tomorrow. I'm going to go and take Archie out for a walk because he's been golden and he deserves it. And then I'm going to go and chill and watch some TV for the night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.